was such a long layoff. Uh, the boys were really excited to be out there. And, uh, you know, they worked very, very hard uh, in both of those scrimmages. Um, for the most part, we're healthy. We, we have uh, 12 players this year. Um, the Tri-Valley League has limited uh, the rosters to 12 per team because of COVID. Um, and right now we just have uh, one um, player, a sophomore, uh, Karoj Fatahe, who uh, ha has a deviated septum. So he had a surgery yesterday. So I wish him well and a speedy recovery. So he'll be back in a couple of weeks. So I look forward to uh, seeing him healthy again. So uh, how have the practices been? Um, have you had to divide up the team more than usual? And I always uh, figured that it must be pretty tough playing basketball in a mask. How is that going for everybody? <laughs> yeah, so it's definitely uh, a very big adjustment for the kids. Um, and when they're off the court and they're not doing drills, they have to maintain social distancing. So just reminding um, high school kids that they have to stay six feet apart um, has been uh, something that we have to be super aware of this year. Um, and as far as wearing the masks go, I mean, it's definitely a challenge for them. Um, you know, I've spoken to a lot of coaches in the area, some of the college coaches to talk about what has worked for them, you know, and I was talking to uh, the Holy Cross basketball coach, Brett Nelson, and he was telling me that his kids have had a lot of success uh, wearing a type of um, plastic piece um, around their mouth. So it separates their mouth from the mask. So we're kind of investigating right now, figuring out what works best for our kids and uh, trying to figure it out. But it's definitely a challenge, but it's something that I keep telling the uh, team that everybody in every part of the uh, state is dealing with. So we're going to control what we can control. And uh, mask wearing, I, I, I definitely can uh, sympathize with them. It's, it's, it's a challenge. Certainly is. Uh, now, now, can, coach, just, you have to wear. Coach, you have to wear master of the games. Yes. Yeah. How is that going to your affect your communication to your referees? <laughs> How is that going to work out? Because we know we get you on some great close-ups over the several several seasons where right. you might not agree with a call or you know yeah. you just want to get clarification. Uh, right. I don't know. What do you think? Think easier, or less technical, is what? <laughs> yeah, I think it, I think it'll. I think it's definitely going to help me, Mike. Because, uh, needless to say, uh, a lot of people say that they can read my face very easily. You know, it might be more challenging for my players a little bit, but uh, no, I think it's going to help me out a little bit in, in that regards. You know, if uh, if you have a, a comment for the official that might be of a constructive nature than uh, they under the mask, which will help out a little bit. I think. Is there any rule changes? I haven't heard of any, but uh, was there any uh, slight rule changes or anything like that? Yeah. So um, there's a few rule changes. Uh, the, the first one being there's no, no jump ball this year to start the game. So um, I'm glad you told me that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah I didn't know that. It, yeah. So it's going to be an inbound pass at half court. Yeah, it's going to be an inbound pass. Uh, the first scrimmage we went to, uh, Brian Keith lost it rock, paper, scissors against the kid from Killer Fairborn. So we're going to let him do rock, paper, scissors again. And then uh, at Bellingham, they flipped a coin. So, nice. uh, so there's no, wow. no jump ball. It's nice that they mix that up anyway. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah exactly. Um, and then there is no baseline out of bounds plays this year. So... Um, everything's going to be taken out on the sideline and uh -huh. the person who's guarding the inbounder has to stay six feet away from the <laughs> passing. Well, I, 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 not next you're going to tell me they killed your full cut press. <laughs> yeah. right. That's, that's the, that's the uh, interesting thing, right? Like you can full, still yeah. press, you can still play everybody man to man once the game's gets into action. So, right. Right. Um, it's definitely unusual. I'm sure they have reasons behind it, 